Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can import a digital elevation model or altitude data from the Earth Engine library and also write a script, a Python script and a QGIS Python um, Earth Engine plugin uh, and um, kind of do some uh, pretty cool visualization, all right? So the first thing is, um, what kind of data do we have on Earth Engine? What kind of alti altitude data do we have? Let's go to data sets on Earth Engine here. So if you go to the search um, bar, if you type in elevation, these are the list of uh, elevation data uh, that you'd find on Earth Engine, right? For example, you have SRTM, digital elevation model, uh, 30 meter. Uh, you also have another um, digital elevation model at a five meter for Australia, SRTM, um, and um, also GMTED 2010. Uh, this is another um, uh, elevation data by USGS and USGS National Elevation Data, NED. So you have a bunch of, you know, elevation data. So um, in this example, uh, we'll be using uh, this one. The, um, the GMT, the 2010 global um, multi-resolution terrain uh, elevation, you know, data by USGS, all right? So if you click here to this data, it will just give you some sort of information on um, the name and also what data was available and the provider USGS and also the image ID that you'll use this image ID to um, import this data uh, in a Python script, right? You can get some more information about the different bands and all that. Um, for example, the resolution is uh, 7.5 arc seconds uh, and the different, you know, meter and, you know, min max values and things like that, all right? Okay, so once we have, uh, you know, decided the data that we're going to use, let's go dive into our Python uh, console in a QGIS environment. So the first thing as always is just because we're using Earth Engine, you know, plugin in a QGIS, make sure that you, uh, you know, import uh, the Earth Engine plugin. Um, it, should, it should show up something like this if you have already uh, installed. Once you installed Earth Engine plugin, uh, always remember to import the Earth Engine by calling import E and also import uh, your map um, package. And the next thing is to um, <clears throat> to um, load your um, a country database. Technically, this is um, I already have it uh, already as an asset management in my drive. So um, this is a country's database for all uh, countries of the world. Um, in this case, I would like to focus on um, on US. Um, so I'll select USA if I want to. And um, so the other thing is just load um, the, the global um, elevation image, which I have already uh, shown you earlier. So I'll just call that image ID. And, uh, you know, you can, you can choose to focus like map.setCenter if you're interested, or just do a different uh, zoom in a parameter. Uh, so just here is um, a default, you know, um, elevation without doing any sort of color um, parameter or visualization. This will just give you a grayscale like black and white elevation for the entire globe. Uh, but what we want to do here is uh, kind of create some pretty cool, interesting visualization for, um, you know, displaying elevation. So the first thing we need to do is just create a C, a background color for the C. So elevation less than zero is like below sea level. So it will just display all the C parameter, uh, the C um, areas. So I'll just display that map dot add layer by masking C dot mask C. So it will only display the C area, right? And then I'll just provide it some color, okay? And then the second thing is to um, display the elevation, actually the elevation data. Um, before I do that, I'll just define a color parameter for the elevation. You can change this if you're interested. 
and um, a visualization parameter for the elevation um, need to define the min max that means minimum and maximum values of the elevation and then um, you know call my um, color palette here and so the trick here is to do two um, different types of visualization um, by declaring here this uh, well create a kind of a mosaic of the two the elevation only the um, continental uh, versus the C and then combine them later okay so elif dot mask C not is that it will just only um, display the continents uh, not the C part of the, the you know the, the the planet and this one this line of code what it does is just display only the C that means C dot mask C so it'll mask um, it will display only uh, you know the C area all right and then um, define some color parameter and just mosaic them. So it'll combine them uh, and then you'll have a pretty cool visualization where you have um, for the uh, land or continental elevation, you have different color uh, combination, but for the sea, you have this more dark color uh, so that you have a pretty good contrast. And finally, just, um, you know, add that display by declaring map dot add layer visualization and elif plate um you know as you can see here and um just when you say through here just display it here uh, make it active if you if you turn this to false it will just create the map but it will not display it unless you just um, click it all right so our script is ready just we can go ahead and execute that now what we'll have is just a pretty nice looking elevation data over here. I zoomed in um, that to, uh, you know, USA. That's why it's just displaying that. Let's drag this a little bit down. So now what you can see is just more like the white color and the yellow color is more higher elevation area, right? And the green is more lower elevation area, as you can see here, right? Um, so here just you can see like the Rocky Mountains uh, pretty much uh, a higher elevation you can see you can really see the contrast and the most important thing that, that we have done here is we just masked the C area elevation which we're not interested which is a zero value just we, we kind of get, get rid of that now it looks uh, pretty much um, nice uh, when you look at that uh, instead of just looking at everything which which kind of uh, lacks more contrast between the continental and the um, water or the aquatic surface of the planet. If you look at here, for example, here the East African highlands, you know, in Kenya and Ethiopia, you can see these white areas, just pretty high mountainous areas, high elevation areas, and also moderate elevation yellow parts, and then the the green is, um, you know, lower elevation areas. Um, so pretty much nice looking map. So if you're interested to do some sort of, um, you know, mapping elevation by providing different color palette and just masking the C area um, using elevation data, as an example we used here, or you can use different um, elevation, for example, SRTM for any country or any place on earth, uh, this is an example to do that.